It's based on the fact that uh, the Raiders are going to be investing uh, up to $1.15 billion and certainly taking the risk for any overruns. Uh, so in order to make um, that agreement uh, make financial sense, um, the revenue from the stadium uh, needed to flow to those investors. Um, the public's investment um, is designed to offset uh, the cost of building a stadium for UNLV. Uh, it, our projection is that the stadium will create about 6,000 permanent jobs in the community and it will generate tax revenue that is approximately the same amount uh, as the room tax will be um, generating uh, in order to pay for the stadium. I would anticipate that it, it's going to be important to get these agreements done toward the end of the summer into fall. Uh, you know, if we get past October, that's probably problematic because they're going to have to break ground, they're going to have to get moving, um, and they're not going to do that until these agreements are done. So th that's the kind of the probable uh, drop dead date for, hey, all these 13 agreements need to be done by plus or minus September. You know, we've talked about the Russell 62 site for quite some time and I think the Raiders are uh, fully committed to that site. Uh, we, In order to approve the site we have to go through the diligence of making sure um, that it works there and you know the site's free and clear, it can be transferred to the stadium authority, uh, all of those things, but um, I think all eyes are on that site. I think it's clear that there are not enough parking spots on the site um, of the stadium itself and you know you could build parking structure there but they want to have um, a game day experience and tailgating and so um, it diminishes the number of parking spots that you can fit there um, so they're going to have to supplement that somehow they're they've, they've got a traffic engineer working on that um, and I'm sure that the county is going to require that they address that subject uh, before they can get a building permit.